A. Swift, is this name familiar to you? Your father had it removed from this plan. Oh, that's Arthur Swift. I've seen him a couple of times here. He works with my father in the old city, digging up something ancient. He is an archaeologist? That's the word, yes. But to be truthful, I really don't think Mr. Swift is fit to be one. I've just learnt a lot about archaeology from my favourite book series. Oh, they are page-turners. Inspirational, I'm sure, but would you happen to know where this Mr. Swift might be found? I don't, but perhaps you can find out somewhere. My father's work with him is all official. Lots of boring legal papers with signatures and stuff. With your love for archives, you would have made the perfect bureaucrat.
May I ask you something? I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. Guests of Cordona, the treasures await you. Collect them all and return for more. tonight. From day to night, Aiden stands there, recruiting non-rebellious workers for the dig. From day to night, Aiden stands there, recruiting non-rebellious workers for the dig.
From day to night, Aiden stands there, recruiting non-rebellious workers for the dig. From day to night, Aiden stands there. Nice affordable clothes. Step right up. Bakın kim buradaymış. I remember the monument. Cordona's legendary pirate, the Robin Hood of the. Do you know about this? I wonder if. Sorry. What is that? Don't miss out on my unique. You should have come earlier. Everything is sold. You should have come. Come earlier. Everything is sold. Miss out. Marhaba. It's a good day for a purchase. May your purchase bring you joy. Oh. Look who's here. Fed up. The 
Market Square. Eating house of the old city. Uh, I wonder if they still sell that heavenly text at night around the corner. Don't pass by. You should have come earlier. Everything is sold. Oriental rugs at a good price. I'm afraid I have nothing to offer, except my company. Don't miss out on my unique clothes. You should have come earlier. Everything Don't is miss sold. out on the best carpets on the island. Sir, kind sir, might I steal your attention? I am not buying. Ah, that is the thing. You won't waste a single mangir. I am a digger, you see, and I have heard of a dig site so deep it clogs your ears. I want to be there. Why are you telling me this? I have heard of a man recruiting for such a dig. A man with a scar, such as uh, the one that you're hiding. And your boots are dirty with the deep clay I am so familiar with. Oh, I, I hope it wasn't too rude of me to point that out. You have a good eye. And you just want to dig? Dig deep and that's it? What's the catch? Are you in desperate need of money? Oh, there is no catch, sir. I won't even ask for advance pay. Just give me a shovel and I'll dig a hole like you've never seen. Huh. Is that so? Well, I have to ask you an important question first. Would you be fine working for Brits? I am... I'll sing you a very special song. Save a gracious queen. Cut it! Or people here will make you their queen. I can also speak in limericks. Please don't. You might be a little bit weak in the head, but a natural born digger with a keen eye is what we need. Take this permission slip and go to this address. The guard will let you in and check with the professor once you're there.
seni görmek güzel. Nasılsın? <gülüyor> Stop loiter. Newcomer. Talk to the professor first. He's the old fellow with the glasses and the plants. Where's the fire in your eyes? Where's the smile? I am sick and tired of seeing apathy among the new workers. Sir, believe me, I do have the spark. I want to start work straight away. It's as important to me as it is to you. Ah, that's the spirit. I'm on the verge of a great discovery. I am ready to work. Splendid. Do you know what I am working on? Archaeological treasure. Ah, uh, you're hoping to find something priceless, something that will change our history. Bravo, young man. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's true. We're looking for Vitus Lemonius's tomb. I'll help you. That is my goal as a worker. Good. Listen to me carefully, then. I hate repeating myself. I am Professor Swift. We have three rules here. Don't touch anything, always return the tools, and don't distract me unless you find something. Sounds simple enough. Are you the only one in charge here, Mr. Swift? Yes, I am the only one, and no one else. You hear anything other than that, it's a lie. People of your kind can have difficulty understanding who's in charge. Take a minute, memorize my face, and then get to work. Oh, I will definitely take a closer look to memorize my superior. I wish I could be as passionate about something as you are, Mr. Swift. You value knowledge and dedication over everything else. It's a long road, young man. A sharp eye and attention to detail are the only stepping stones along this path. You have to sacrifice everything you love for the larger prize. Exactly. So much in life is uh, superficial. I wish more people would understand. I never heard a truer word, lad. Folk will ignore what truly matters in life, and for what? Convenience. Bold words indeed. I doubt that many scientists would be willing to support their bragging with fieldwork. The academic world is full of restrictions. Don't touch anything here. Get back to work.
plan for this whole operation. This reminds me of my father's room. This might prove useful. I'll note it down. Straw dolls. Eerie, but effective for a scene recreation. Oh, I want one. Are these, or two? Oil cloth. Won't fade and waterproof. Enough here to make ten sails and more. warm my bones. Sharpest pickaxe. <laughs> the guilty pleasure of the real archaeologist. Missing your Laura, Mr. Swift? Hey, a word about the trilogy. Right then, you literary expert. You, what was so important about these books? Or did you simply need some kindling? It's inspirational. I have a plan. Are you listening? I wish I wasn't, but I am. So, we catch a monkey, a langa, for example, then we extract some blood from it. What? Why? It will make us forever young, Sherry. Page 127 of the second book. Oh, I am so done with this. No, wait. Then how about we make a wax statue? I've stopped listening, John. Swift lost his temper when he learned what happened to the statue.
Somehow the text remains legible. Let's see if I remember my Latin. Goddess? A mother? Someone's wife? A sickle for harvesting. The ancient Romans honored the seasons. There were four statues here originally. I wonder what the three other statues look like. I see now. Mr. Swift didn't realize the significance of the statues. It seems everything's in place. Now, let's see what this has to tell us. Is your discovery, Mr. Swift. Hey, look at this. What have you found? Don't let anyone touch anything there. Eureka! I found you, my friend.
box of darts. Handy against rodents of all kinds. What do you think you're doing? Trying to take over my research, are you? I come here to pick up my diary, and I find you snooping around. Explain yourself. Mr. Swift, if that were true, I would have been on my way to the newspaper. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself properly. Out! I'm thinking of all the possibilities, and I'm not crossing out anyone who might have been involved. Even his elephant. The land you're excavating belongs to Mr. Gildon, does it not? Did I hear an accusation? I have nothing to hide. You can ask me whatever nonsense you've prepared as a token of my diminishing respect towards you. Very well, Mr. Swift. I appreciate your cooperation. When was the last time you saw Mr. Gildon? A couple of days ago. We discussed the site. I believe in the tomb and its secrets. Theodore's patience was stretched, however. He was already inventing new projects. It wasn't a long conversation. I suppose that his daughter will inherit everything now, along with all of the eccentricities and problems. And not forgetting Goliath. Eccentricities and problems, Mr. Holmes. One of many. Were you at the site this morning? Affirmative. This project is taking a lot of my time, as you see. I spend more time underground than on the surface. When did you learn about Theodore's death? Just now. You just told me. And you aren't surprised, shocked. I won't tell anyone if you shed a tear or two. Weren't you partners, after all? We were. And it is a real shame. But I've seen too many deaths in my life, Mr. Holmes, for the news to truly shake me. Will you allow me to return to my research, or are you insisting on remaining an obstacle? Oh, I haven't even started yet. You have a weakness for nostalgia? Or, rather, do you use it to record a list of enemies? Young man, you need to check your moral compass. Reading another person's diary is a sin in every culture that I can think of. But you aren't answering the question. You've already read it. Why bother? I simply record my life to keep my memory clean from misinterpretation. Letters and pages don't lie. But the writer of the text can. With this book, you were tempted to plan an attack on the elephant? Your insinuations are out of place. Goliath is a frightening animal. All I wished to do was to understand the creature. As any scientist would do, I researched, analyzed, and drew conclusions. Hmm. Then what conclusion did you draw? That Theodore Gildon made the animal miserable. He couldn't provide the proper environment for the beast. My interest in the subject ended there. What's with this box of darts? Is it for a scientific argument? A little darker than that. Rather for killing the kind of rodents that might nibble a nose or a toe in your sleep. Let's just say I have to protect myself against a larger animal, such as an elephant. Might it be enough to stop it, make it faint? If I were you, I wouldn't bank on it. I've nothing to add. Moving on. As far as I can tell, you're a man of the academic world, so this book about Nabe and Laura is just an empirical study? What? That nonsense? 
I'd prefer to lose my eyesight than read such trash. So, you know nothing about it? I know nothing. I wish I'd never heard of it in the first place, this caricature of science. Do I hear traces of envy? You're still relatively young that you might find your own, Laura. Perhaps I envy, Nabe, for I cannot simply blow people up for distracting me. That's all. You happy now? Wonderful. Moving on. What's with this intricate recruitment process pro-British workers charge less? As a head of this organization, I need to secure a productive environment. It's impossible to do so if there are political differences. Especially here, where the native population doesn't support our efforts to find the ancient artifacts. Decent pay can also stimulate productivity and shut down any political discord. Hadn't you thought of that? You're young. You have time to fritter and fight with everyone you meet. I don't have such a luxury. Our workers receive enough pay for what they do. So don't start a discussion you know nothing about. I'm a busy man. Did this plan cause a rift in your business relationship with Theodore Gildon? Nothing like that. Admittedly, we didn't share a common vision of what is more important, the past or the future. In my opinion, we can't build a future without knowing the past. So you wanted to save the tomb of Vitus here, or perhaps your control over the research? Only the knowledge that rightly belongs to humankind. Nothing less and nothing more. I have nothing to add. Your partner had a very specific attitude towards the things he treasured. Was this habitual for him? That would have been too much even for him. Don't get me wrong, he had a harsh temper. Like a true businessman, he was ready to burn his competitors to the ground. But threatening someone physically would have been something new even for him, am I correct? Absolutely. Besides, I had never seen him this angry. The fellow who received the letter must have been extremely alarmed. Remember one of the rules? It uh, seems that you didn't return a tool. Is this knife yours? Do I look like a fellow who carries a knife? I don't need it. There are plenty of uses for it on the site, and outside of it. I have other people to cut ropes for me, Mr. Holmes. Moving on. Moving on. Gildan's Elephant is quite an unusual addition to Cordona's fauna. What is your scientific opinion on that? No matter how much Theodore loved it, it still remained a wild animal trapped inside a stone pen. Goliath needs savannas, fields, lakes. I'm sure that Goliath did not have a plan to kill his owner to head to the savannas. What do you think? No. Animals don't kill in a typical sense. I can only presume that it tried to protect itself from captivity, from Theodore. It was a gilded cage that was predestined to break. I've nothing to add. I've nothing to add. Have you seen this person before? The one beside Imogen Gildan? No, but he's with Imogen, so I suppose that he's a friend of hers. That girl always has her head in the clouds. I could have said Theodore was different, but that wouldn't have been entirely true. Away with the fairies, was he? That's one way of putting it. Either way, I don't know much about Imogen's life or her friends. The type of elite that pretends to be educated.
Stop, Lloyd. This fabric will work. It might fall an elephant. Mrs. Nini seemed to know.
Good day, madam. I've come to you with a special requirement. The tailors on the street can't help me, I'm afraid. Could you make a doll for me? Oh, Senior Holmes. You taught the police how to do their job, and they found the thief. Of course I will help you. But what sort of doll? A child's doll, such as my great niece might play with? Um, a little larger than your typical doll. Signore, I don't understand. Boy, girl, animal, and what color? Animal, um, a passionate, perhaps amorous animal. Ah, oh, Signore, you talk in riddles. I am an old lady who's seen it all. Tell me what you need. I need a life-size elephant. I think Mrs. Nini outdid herself with this one. Is that a tail? That's a trunk, John, but I must agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Well, let's not waste any time. game is on. So, what's the plan? I hope it all doesn't go horribly wrong. We know that the elephant is seeking a female. We can arrange that. A doll with the appropriate scent might do miracles. So you're a marriage broker? Well, I suppose that makes me a groomsman. Oh, she is a bit breezy, I must say. Well, Goliath is eager for a single female elephant in his area. It should be just enough for his taste. You'll need to trust me. Are we ready? I can't stand the tension. We're ready. Let's call the elephant. How could anyone resist? I knew a lady once who said just that. Too bad I'm not an elephant. Take your time, Sherry. That deserves a slap, and then a kiss. And here's our lovesick friend. Is the meaning of this? Why are you bringing it here? I won't allow you to leave it. I assure you that it is only a temporary measure. It won't be long until the elephant is gone, I promise you. itself while running through the forest.
There's something in the needle. A feathered fletching. This might be promising. The left tusk is larger and more worn. You're a left tusk elephant. and compliant, almost a gentleman.
I have to leave you for now. I have to leave you for now. for the hospital, I'm sure. Of course not. I've had to cut corners to earn some money. How might a person afford to pay for a yacht in an honest way? I don't know, although I'm smart. The buyers are my customers, adults who are willing to pay. Hey guys, VDP here, and welcome back to some more show. If population doesn't support. Uh, office can help if I attract pheromones from it. I've seen a fabric for doll making at a dig site. Dig site. Dig site. I can mimic, I can, I can hold. This is Tris. No offense, but uh, not great with your hands, are you? This video gas and instrument to, to mimic an elephant's call. Strong scent to trap the animal. I have taken a fabric refilled with gas. I've acquired a foghorn. It sounds just like a mating animal. The perfume for Theodore's of um. Office. Which is why I get those scratches and everything. I, I gotta bring him to justice. I'm sorry, I have to do it. If not. Alright, is so that a lot of fun in that first video? Thank you guys. You'll get to see your friends in jail again. Who disguises himself as a man? No. Sin in every tree of the elephant. Miss the first location for the mission. For him to do the stuff that would need to be a knife. Other people to cut the knives for him. Feeling rushed, but he. Elephant in the yard. Right. They both own darts. Here to have any function or use whatsoever in this like the knife doesn't seem to play a role at all so like why was the knife even needed well maybe it wasn't needed but the person just happened to have one on them hence sailor i don't know i think i'm going with paul here all per part perks killed theodore gilden so using Goliath. Paul used an air gun with a poison dart to provoke the elephant. Agitated and scared, the enemy with image. This I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, is it nice month? Do I go to the police? Sure, I bring it home. Although, I will admit
And like, like and there's not gonna be enough staff. You were right about Goliath. Everyone confirmed your opinion. They all agree that the beast is vicious. Chance. The mating season only served to amplify its temper. Oh, spare me. That's a little too much detail, thank you. What is the point of this conclusion? How do you plan to use your findings? Miss Gildon... I know how much you dislike the elephant. Rather more than dislike. I wish I could have done more to that wretch than just speak of it. But it's innocent. Goliath did not intend to kill your father. It was provoked, scared, and in mating season. Your father took Goliath's normal state for granted, and in doing so made a mistake that caused the elephant to be aggressive. Stop it! I already know the answer. I don't need your moral perspective on this situation. I don't know why you wasted your time. I actually did more than you. Which involved what, Miss Gildon? A man with a big wallet made an offer to take the elephant away. I accepted it. I was so naive, thinking that it was me who was so helpless. But you are useless too. I am glad that the elephant is no longer of your concern, but I need to make sure. I don't care, and I don't want to listen. Thought you wouldn't turn up. Why is that? Well, I suppose it's the English way to leave without saying goodbye, but I never planned to abandon you. Because you brought the filthy beast here. Because you did nothing to ensure its proper punishment. 
I had to do everything, not you. I was piecing together your father's murder. There was nothing to piece together. I told you, it was Goliath. I never asked you to talk with anyone. I asked you to find stupid animal. Even if my efforts are invisible, that does not mean that I did nothing. I don't have the strength to argue. These are my father's belongings. They're about your mother. Take them all and leave me be. I won't waste your time any longer, Miss Gilden. Thank you for your help. My mother always wore this around her neck until one day it disappeared. I was wondering where it went. She said it was a birthday present from a good friend. I just had another glimpse of a memory, John. It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it happens somewhere in the manor. Finally moving forward. Shall we go? 